First, in just a few days, one St. Pete staple will close its doors for good. Munch's Sundries has been around for decades. Reporter Malik Rankin joins us now with the memories made in the family-owned diner. Munch's Sundries first opened in 1952. My mother lived till she was 98, but she worked here till she was 88. And one of her last words was, don't work till you're 88. <laughs> in the 70 years the home cooking diner has been open, a lot has changed. But one thing that stayed true through the decades. But I still feel it as a neighborhood joint, you know, where everybody knows each other. You'll see some people table hopping, but they haven't seen people. It's become a place for friends to meet and share good meals. But I love the biscuits with gravy. The sausage gravy is the best I've ever had anywhere. For a lot of people, they grew up with munches. When we got out of school, we'd walk past here and stop in for M&Ms or whatever candy we could buy. I've been coming here since uh, 1954. I was four years old. Munch's Sundries has been sold to new owners and will close next week. We're going to have a tough time finding another place that we can be as comfortable in. It was like an institution just shutting down. It is. It's an icon. As Larry Munch closes this chapter, it'll be with decades of fond memories. It's sad, but I'm anxious to move on to my next adventure. In South St. Pete, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. Munch's Sundry's last day open will be December 29th. They'll have a limited menu as they work through what's left in the kitchen.